The rising water levels at the 111-year-old Mulaperia Dam at Eduki district has resulted in an extremely alarming situation for the state of Kerala. The rapid increase in water levels will threaten the safety of the dam and will endanger the life of nearly 35 lakh people living in five districts of Kerala. This probable disaster is not a mere speculation but can turn into a reality any time considering the present condition of the dam. In recent times, Kerala has appealed to neighbouring Tamil Nadu to take into consideration its very grave concerns about the strength of the dam that has long outlived its normal period of life. For the state of Kerala, Mullaperiyar is not a dispute on sharing of waters between the two states. It's a major question on the lives of lakhs of people living downstream the dam. Tamil Nadu has been consistently demanding an increase in the water level to 142 feet. The present dam cannot withstand the water pressure if the reservoir level is raised. The more than a century old Mulaperia Dam is located in the upper reaches of Kerala's river Periyar. The structure was built with lime and mortar, a primitive technology. British engineer Penny Quick, who led the construction of this structure, had predicted a lifespan of 50 years for the dam. In 1886, the princely state of Travancore signed a treaty with the then Madras government to lease the land covered by the reservoir of the dam for 999 years. It was not a fair deal between two equal states. It was an agreement forced on a tiny native princely state by the mighty British Empire, typical of the colonial approach to exploitation of local natural resources. The terms of the agreement were repeatedly and blatantly violated by the British. The agreement itself provided for settling of disputes between the leaser and the leasee through arbitration, but the British government disdainfully refused to be part of any arbitration proceedings. In 1941, the government of Madras demanded the rights to use water for generation of hydroelectric power. This was the only instance where a dispute was settled through arbitration. It was clearly decided that the leasee has no right to use the water for any purpose other than irrigation. After independence, Kerala continued its magnanimous and friendly attitude to Tamil Nadu. The renewed lease deed of 1974 permitted Tamil Nadu to use the water for generating hydroelectric power. It is estimated that more than 70 TMC of water is being released to Tamil Nadu every year. Tamil Nadu pays Andhra Pradesh rupees 3 crore for 1 TMC of water, whereas they pay a mere rupees 40,000 every year to Kerala for 70 TMC of water. By 1979, the dam had already outlived its predicted life by more than 27 years. Following the detection of leakage, the Central Water Commission that looked into the safety aspects of the dam suggested the lowering of the reservoir level to 136 feet until leakages are prevented and the dam strengthened. Despite claims of strengthening the dam and certification to that effect, the leakage continues to increase day by day and is much more severe than the situation in 1979. Unfortunately, Tamil Nadu is forcibly resisting every attempt to even evaluate the dam's safety. On August 18, 2006, an earthquake measuring 2.1 on the richer scale was recorded with its epicenter barely 17 kilometers from the Mulaperia Dam. Following this, 
the state dam safety committee after a study concluded that the Mulaperia dam is situated in a seismic zone and was not strong enough to withstand tremors anymore. An earlier study conducted by the Center for Earth Science Studies jointly with the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore had clearly indicated the distinct possibility of earthquakes of magnitude of 6 on the richer scale occurring in the region. The baby dam built close to the main dam is also in very bad shape. In fact, the destruction of the baby dam itself will submerge vast areas of land including dense forests endangering the precious wildlife and biodiversity of the Peria Tiger Reserve where the dam is situated. Downstream Mulaperia, Kerala has its biggest hydel reservoir at Iduki. If anything untoward happens to the old dam at Mulaperia, the consequences will be disastrous. The Iduki dam will not be able to withstand the pressure of the rushing water from Mulaperia. Tamil Nadu has consistently shown a reluctance to settle issues including those related to the safety of the dam through arbitration. It has repeatedly failed to appreciate the spirit of Kerala's magnanimity. All this has finally culminated in the present stalemate in the Supreme Court. In the last few days, the water level has rapidly shot up by 3 feet from 136 feet to 139 feet. This has created a panic situation among the thousands of people living downstream. People have been evacuated to secure places. Many people have left their homes and properties in the wake of a possible danger to the dam structure. Even while facing such a critical and grievous situation, the government of Kerala has only insisted on an amicable resolution of the dispute between the two states. The state of Kerala has no dispute with Tamil Nadu for releasing water from Mulaperia for irrigation and power generation. Kerala knows it is a livelihood issue in Tamil Nadu. The Kerala Legislative Assembly's decision to release water from Neya Reservoir recently to the southern districts of Tamil Nadu reflects the state's large-hearted attitude to its neighbor. However, Tamil Nadu responds to this generosity with continued provocations. Umari Mahavatatilirundi, Yenda Purukalum, Kerala Kisaladi, Adivari in the Poratam Todarum, Kandikira, 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 Atu, Dalila Kandikira, 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 Atu, Dalila Kandikira. The recent provocative statements and action from the Tamil Nadu political leadership are unfortunate. While insisting on raising the reservoir level to dangerous levels, Tamil Nadu has been stubbornly refusing to even let the condition of the dam to be examined. It would be suicidal for Kerala to think of raising the level even an inch over 136 feet, which was suggested by the Central Water Commission in 1979, 30 years before the area was identified as earthquake prone. Kerala therefore demands a new dam has to be built as early as possible to protect the interest of both states. Till then, necessary steps to be taken to reduce the reservoir level 136 feet considering the severe deterioration in the condition of the dam and the fact that the entire area has now been identified as earthquake prone. Water being given to Tamil Nadu needs to be measured and 
adequately priced.